You may have noticed our newscast looks a little different tonight. Everyone at CBS 17 is practicing social distancing, trying to keep at least six feet away from other people. Tonight, Chief Meteorologist Wes Hohenstein, who normally is breaking down the science of our weather, is using science to explain how social distancing and other prevention methods may help curb the coronavirus pandemic. The world has been introduced to a lot of new terms and visuals in the last few days due to COVID-19. And I'm going to break down flattening the curve and social distancing from a science perspective. But I'm going to start with a science experiment that many of us did back in elementary school about how washing your hands can really stop germs, stop viruses from spreading. We're going to use some water in a paper plate and we're going to have regular ground pepper represent germs, or in this case, COVID-19. You can see as I put my finger that hasn't been washed in with the germs and the pepper, they just kind of continue to roam around, some of them even getting on my finger. But what happens when I introduce some soap? This is regular liquid dish soap. I'll put my finger in that and then watch what happens. A washed hand goes into the germs. All the germs start to spread out once the soap hits the germs. So how does hand washing help flatten the curve? Well, I'm sure many of you have seen this graphic in the last few days. It gives us two examples of how COVID-19 could spread if we do two different things. One, the virus will explode and spread across the country very quickly if we don't do things like wash our hands or practice social distancing. The other is if we do these things with protective measures. The first one and the second one have the same amount of people getting infected with the virus just at different rates. The first one without these protective measures will overwhelm our infrastructure, our healthcare system, our grocery stores. The other will spread it out more over time, similar to morning traffic. If we all left at the same exact time, the roads would be packed. But if we spread out the time we leave for work and school, our roads are built to handle it. Our infrastructure and healthcare system is built to handle something spread out over time, but it's something we have to help protect. The other visual you probably saw over the weekend had to do with social distancing. Simple little matchsticks representing people. The matchsticks catching on fire represent getting COVID-19. The first matchstick lights on fire. The second matchstick immediately lights on fire and gets COVID-19, so on and so forth until you remove one matchstick you remove one person who's practicing social distancing and the rest of the group, the rest of the matches aren't on fire and don't get COVID-19. It's simple social distancing that could help mitigate COVID-19. This reminds me a lot of how we cover and prepare for a hurricane or snowstorm. The grocery stores have been packed, kids are out of school, but the power's not going to go out. The roads will stay open and the grocery stores will get more merchandise. A first time ever event that we're all living through together and we'll continue to be here covering it together. I'm Wes Hohenstein, CBS 17.